on Route 128 for part 44. Bad idea. Bad, bad part. Double 4 means double death, so hopefully no one dies. Um, last video. Last video. I've been reading your comments on parts 42 and 43 is going up today. And wow, you guys actually stuck with me despite Cooper taking like a month and a half off from uploading. So that was really cool. I definitely appreciate that because you guys make this even more fun than it already is. So I uh, thank you very much for that. But today, we are going to continue our catching spree, I believe. Um, let's see who we caught. Let's see if I remember who all we caught. It's been a couple of days. Um, okay, that was Skarmory. That was a long time ago. We're at 125. We got a Mercering. A Shoal Cave. We got a Gator. Ch chewed him. At 127. I think that was a Tentacool that we passed up. Yeah, I just killed it. That's screw it. Um... And 128, I believe we got a Curlia. So hopefully I got all those right. We have... I don't know if we can get Evergrande City yet. 130. See, there's actually still quite... A, see, there's actually quite a few routes here. Look at this. Like, this entire ocean current, that's like three pokes you can get. It's really good in, in Nuzlocke Roulette. Plus Pacific Log Town. Um, I think we already got our guy for Slateport City, though. So... Um, I'll leave these for later in the game, I guess. But I'll go ahead and get everything up to Pacific Log. Because at some point you need to fly to Pacific... Or well, you don't need to fly to Pacific Log. But in order to get to Sky Tower quickly, it's helpful. Um, so we'll go ahead and get Route 128 and Route 130 and I guess Route 131. Maybe Pacific Long. So we'll go ahead and start this video off with a couple captures. And then maybe we'll start the gym, I guess. Um, there's also some trainers we could fight. And there's some Pokenav calls we could receive. It's This is about her darling Plusle. Yes, there could be something way more blissful than that. And that's Jasmine running up and jumping into your arms. But anyway. Um, new background, by the way. Um... Depending on when you're watching this, it may not be the same background, but I have a have a new background that I just changed to as of the time of this uploading. And who are we going to use? Let's use Michiru. This is a cool trainer, but before they became ace trainers again. I want to say they were always like elite trainers in Japan. She has a Gloom, which is not a very good matchup for Michiru. Or, it's bad against Michiru. Because it's going to get Ice Beamed! And of course, uh, Meteor also outlevels it by 11 levels, so that's there's that too. Okay, we have Crush Draw and Experience Share, and an Azumarill, which is unless it has Super Power, which I don't think it learns naturally. It's not gonna endure Crunch very well, or maybe it'll endure it well enough that that annoys me. Um, <laughs> Well, I guess this is the segment of the game where Raigeki and Belladon are supposed to prove their worth, so I guess we'll let them have their fun. Ooh, double edge. Ow, 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 Stick that instead, which would I, which would have made a. Ooh, no, 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 no. I was like, that's doing more damage than normal. That's doing more damage than normal. Fortunately, it killed itself. Holy snot! I, I already like forecasted. Um, someone's gonna die this video because it's part 44. So, those of you who are familiar with Japanese-ness know that four means death. Um, we're going to lemonier lemonade. Belladonna. Scary stuff right there. Um, I would say let's put Belladonna at the front of the party. You know, actually, anyone having anyone at the front of the party who's not, like, super bulky is kind of dangerous. Um, well, Raigeki should be... Or, wait. See, I know we've been encountering some... You know, I would almost say let's put on some repels, but then that's going to just make us encounter only high-level dudes. Um, right here, by the way, is where the submarine is going to be. Is the sub already there? Oh, we don't have dives yet. Never mind. Um, yeah, that's where we're gonna have to come a little bit later. Where is that on the map? So I, because I always get lost trying to find it. Um, it is the square to the right of the outlying dark blue square, if that makes any sense. Okay, we're looking for Route 139. There's a Fisher, Fisher, no, Fisher, sw Swimmer. Route 129, alright, here we go. Oh, almost got into a person fight. Uh, so let's put Belladonna up front. Actually, let's put let's try to do a uh, trainer fight if possible first. Well, I guess we still want Belladonna first either way. 
Fight me. Level up Belladonna more. Let's see, now, I, I know there's one... Ooh, Spiel. Um, I could have Powder Snow, but I think it's just the Spiel, so Belladonna should be able to combo it. We never got to see... Crushdraw in this cute little form right here. When he came to us, he was already a Walrein. Prepackaged as a Walrein. Prepackaged, ice-breaking, Tuscaholic, Wind Walrus was what he was when he first came to us. Maldana has exactly 100 HP. I am not sure if there's ever been a Victory Bell card that had exactly 100 HP, but uh, here's Belladonna with 100 HP. Razor Leaf on level 30. Oh, everyone, everyone level 33. I like that. There should be a Wi-Fi mode where it's level 33 all. Um, that would that would be my preference. Six gen, make that happen. Level thirty three all. I mean, it, it makes sense, right? Because you got level fifty all. You know, that's half of one hundred. So level thirty three all. That's like a third of one hundred. So it makes perfect sense. It's not just me being biased. Um, there's another fisherman over there. Okay, round one thirty nine. Our Pokemon is freaking Isabel would be happy because we have a plus hole here. Oh crap! Okay, and charge doesn't raise special defense in this gen. Well, if Razor Leaf kills it, I don't really care. Because it's a freaking plus hole. We already have our electric type of choice, and I believe we actually have a backup electric type that I forgot who it was. Um. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Belladonna, pro! Pro critical hit. Right down to the money. Oh, fake tears, it's bad. We don't, we, don't, we don't want that. We don't want Belladonna's. Although, what can this thing do? It's probably got, you know, its electric move is ineffective. So, I guess that just makes the electric move. Uh, and, oh crap, it's, it's charged. It's not, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna switch in Muddy Buddy. Muddy Buddy don't care about no electric moves. Maybe we'll buy a couple turns of sleep too, so we can check balls. I'm not really concerned, too much concerned about uh, finding this thing's moveset out. I know it's not a nasty plotter, because it's not a third gen move. But, it is a nose like poke, so we will try to capture it regardless of how much it sucks. And it went down in the first ball, so that's good. That, was a, that Razor Leaf, man. That was a pro Razor Leaf from Baladon. You guys saw that? It's a pro. Knocked it down to 1 HP in one hit. Amazing. Uh, Puzzle is the cheering Pokemon. It has a tra has the trait of cheering on its fellow Pokemon. So, we can just... Which means it's just gonna stay in the box with Pom Poms. By shorting out... Oh, there, there you go. By shorting out the electricity it releases from its paws, it creates pom-poms for cheering. So, um... It's a male cheerleader. Well, ever since Cooper played Owen Don, he has a different uh, perspective of cheering. But, uh... Plus, is for Plusle? Nah, I'm still not that fond of Plusle. Alright, so... That was Route 129, so we're going to get 131, 130, 131, and Pacific Logs. Let's make it right over to Pacific Log, and then we'll probably um, pull Avionis out and fly back, because I don't want to go across all this water. And there's another Plusle. This one level 22, so if Belladonna had misclicked on this one, it would have been bad news for Plusle. Well, unless it hadn't gotten, gotten a crit. Belladon needs to be needs to be higher level. And speaking of higher level, um, there we go. Oh, because it used quick attack. Um, speaking of higher level, we should also check in on our guys in the daycare, which um, I kind of forgot who we actually have in there. I think we've got a Hariyama. Talk to me. And I forget who else we have. But we might check in on those guys this video if we get Avianus out. Here is Triathlete Chase. He is not one of the guys who summons you on match call. I think that's Triathlete Dylan is the swimmer. Um, we're gonna sludge bomb because Wingull has poor physical defense. Unlike Wingull, or unlike uh, Pelipper. I mean, all Crush draws leech in the experience, which I should probably take that off. And actually, Belladonna should probably be getting the experience share since we're trying to level her up. But then again, um, I don't want to underestimate Tate and Lisa, so... I guess Belladonna's doing okay. I mean, I know we're gonna need Belladonna and Raigeki for the champion fight, so... 
there's that too. I, again, I don't know if we're going to be doing the Steven fight or not. Um, it's a possibility. It will be like a bonus episode anyway. Like I'm not going to freak out if people die. Um, so... Let's take that off. Press draw. Ten, wow. <laughs> Seven more defense and six more HP. So powerful. I'm actually surprised that... Or did I give Muddy Buddy some sort of special attack boosting thing? Because I'm actually surprised the special attack is anywhere close to Walrein's. So, there we go. Even, that way, even if I have to switch Belladonna out, she'll gain experience. And here is a double. I feel okay doing a double battle with Belladonna and Raigeki. Famous last words. Oh, I didn't even have to take the double, because that guy could have fought that guy first. Oh, whatever. If one of them has a Gyarados, then I'll just laugh at it and Thunder Punch it. Chin Chow and a Sharpedo. Okay. Um, not very threatened here. As a... That one does have better special defense, right? I think so. Um, only slightly. Only, and then I, neither of those defenses are that good. Um, okay, Razor Leaf hits both. Um, we want to make sure to target Thunder Punch down on Sharpedo. And, uh, Regeki should go first and eliminate Sharpedo. So that means Chin Chow should receive the full damage from Razor Leaf. Which is what it's weak to. Actually, honestly, probably that Chin Chow has Illuminate. Because usually, usually the trainer control Pokemon have the crappy abilities. So, you know, it's nice to the player. So that Chin Chow probably actually had Illuminate. Just like how... Usually, Nidorans and 4th Gen will have rivalry, so they don't, you know, randomly poison point you. Roselias usually have natural cure, things like that. The thing that's l less irritating to the player is usually what what they have. And did we have Amulet Coin on Regeki? No, we had someone else. We had, uh... Oh, we did have Amulet Coin. Nice. Very nice. Good job, Regeki. I was gonna say, like, a thousand off some couple swimmers. That's pretty good. Uh, we are not in Route 130 yet. As evidenced by another plus hole. And for some reason, the emulator is running at 80%. Can we close one amp and maybe make it go back up? Can we close File Explorer and make it go back up? Or maybe the computer is just being sluggish for me today. Whatever. Okay, level 5 plus hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if that plus level 4, whatever. That's the problem with, um, with C Pokemon is their levels are so random. Hold on, I'm getting to level 34. Good. Okay, Route 130. So, new route. New route. Is Veladonna healed up? Uh, pretty much. Oop, there's another duplicate of fought. But alright, Route 130. Who will join the team? Route 130 is a Raichu. These routes. Go figure, C routes love electric rat Pokemon. Freaking electric rodent dudes. Um. I don't know what this has, but I feel pretty solid build on against it. It has a quick attack, which does meth damage. Um, I don't really want to use Razor Leaf. Raichu's actually kind of cool. I kind of halfway like Raichu. We're going to use Rap, because it's got bad defense and bad HP. So Rap should deal acceptable damage, I hope. Uh, that's not really acceptable, but it's acceptable enough. I guess I suppose we can continually use rap. Sure, why not? Okay, instant, instant, instant wake up. Tell it bad. Tell it is bad. And if I switch Bell, then I out, then rap gets cancelled, so that's annoying. Alright, I don't know what Raichu's catch rate is. Ooh, Thunderbolt. But, uh, it is resisted. Let's see how much is it? 88 down to. Okay, so 88 down to 67. Guess what Cooper's doing? That's right. He's got his calculator. So we should be prepared to take 43 points. No, 44 points of damage from that. That's how we play it. And even with the defense drop, I don't think a crit quick attack would do 67 points of damage. Okay, Raichu pops. Raichu. Raichu. No, that's how you, that is how you say it. <laughs> I think I was trying to say Raichu earlier. Probably because of just finding the Chincha. 
No, ha wait, how do you pronounce that one? The thing that evolves in the lantern. Ch Chin Chow or Chin Cho? I don't know. The Japanese name is Chonchi, or actually I guess it's Chonchi, which I always thought was less Japanese than the English name. It's kind of strange. Um, we're in a rap. <laughs> no, quit that. It's, that's not even rapping. Oh, crap, static. Okay, that's fine. We, we'll clear that off after the fight. I think Raichu's already faster anyway. Nope, nope, Raichu's having none of it. Now see, if this is a Pikachu, I'd probably just kill it, because we don't, we don't like Pikachu. We don't like Pikachu. But Raichu, Raichu's pretty cool. Um, I think he's going to wake up this turn. Predicted. Quick attack. Okay, we're not any much of damage at all. You know what I really want to get? I want to get a poke with protect and sleep powder. It's really fast. That way you can predict their wake up, protect on the turn they wake up, and then immediately put them back to sleep. I just think it would be hilarious. I want to get a poke like that. Uh, we're going to heal Belladonna before we do anything else. Sort of pop. And throw more balls. We're down to 40 balls now. So that should be enough to get one more dude. And we got him. This is a female Raichu. Um, oh, what? What does, um... I was trying to think what Maria calls her Raichus. Um... I know she has a Raichu name. She usually has Raichus. Anyway, Raichu is the mouse Pokemon. Um, if it stores too much electricity, its behavior turns aggressive, so it's sort of like electricity is testosterone or something, I don't know. Um, to avoid this, it occasionally discharges... <laughs> it occasionally discharges excess energy and uh, calms itself down. Um, I'm glad this is a female Raichu now, so... Um, oh my. Um, that reminds me of something the... Uh, some teacher that I ever had said to uh, a group of students that I'm not gonna repeat on this channel, at least not right now. Um, may, we might repeat it in one of the uh, the driving segments that we often do. Um, anyway, um, what are we gonna name it? Um, Well, I, I, I can't think of a good name. Um, maybe I'll ask Maria, and if Maria tells me she does have a name that she usually does right choose, I'll change it. For now, we're going to name it Raiden Nux, I guess. Um, apparently, this is a, a new set that just got revealed. Um, actually, unbelievably enough, Serebii had news on it first, and not Poke Beach. Um, it's like a set that focuses on, or it's got a Thunderous with the... The tiger Therian form, whatever, or dragon. No, I think that one's more like a dragon. Um, Landorus has like a tigerish form, and and Tornadus has the bird. But I think I think it's supposed to be like a, I don't know, some sort of a, some sort of a dragon. But anyway, it's it's right in knuckle, um, and it's probably somewhat old news. Well, actually, Pokemon will almost certainly have it by the time this vid goes up. But anyway, uh, so I'll name it that for now. It's got Rai in it. Rai is like pertaining to electricity, so that's why you see that in Raichu and Raiko, things like that. Um, we don't have a paralysis healer, so we're just going to love a cookie. We have plenty of cookies. Um, let's fight this guy. For a second, I thought that said, I think we should a battle. Um, oh, did I, did I finish that po uh, plot point earlier? And that's not a plot point. Um, I was gonna say, I think at some point in one game, um, the swimmers, I think it's, I think it was 4th gen, um, you know, the swimmers in the first couple of games typically were speedos, and for whatever reason, starting in 4th gen, they made them put on swim trunks, so no more speedos. Um, seems like swimmers get censored a lot. Okay, Dragon Rage, um, we can take another one, though. We also have a T-Punch for him. Yeah, I think starting in 4th gen, swimmers 
got censored in international releases and they had to put on swim trunks. I think the only other time the swimmers were censored was second gen when the female swimmer was winking at you provocatively and you know we don't want little you know 8 to 11 year olds playing this game to get any ideas. Okay we already encountered stuff for this route. Uh, another Raichu. Okay, very s well I, I guess somebody has to replace Tentacool so I guess we're getting the pokes that are replaced with Tentacool. And once again you know we got a level 9. One that pops up so many encounters. I guess I'll know when we get to the new route because it won't be a Raichu. I'm not even going to waste my PP killing level 5, so it's going to be like 20 experience. Okay, there's a level 31. That one might actually be worth killing. Um, we're going to go with our stab sludge bomb, which I actually only have 5 PP on. Okay. So yeah, let's see if sludge bomb knocks that one shot. I was hoping for some poison hacks. Quick attack. Razor Leaf misses. Thunderbolt. See how much experience that gives us. Ooh, there we go. Critical hit. 540. That's, that's not too bad. It's a decent chunk. Um, that is more HP damage than I want Bell to... Oh crap, no, no, not that. Um, there we go. Which I want damage on there. Having damage on you is bad. Um, are we close to the next route so I can, like, take stuff one tile at a time? Oh, we still got a little bit of ways to go. Wait, was that... Nope, okay, I still want... I thought something popped down. Um, let's try to get battles in first. See if we can get Meldana up to 35. And wow, is this all we're gonna do this video is fight trainers and capture pokes? I mean, I, I guess capturing pokes is a large part of the Nuzlocke experience, right? So it's not too bad. How much you want to bet we're gonna have a Belladonna thumbnail again? It's like a that was a, that how many there was like what five six videos in a row where we had Victor Bell or Weeping Bell thumbnails. It's crazy. And most of them were like the default thumbnail too, like the middle one. Oh crap, missed. Ice ball missed as well, good. You know, I suppose I could repel and guaranteedly get a high level dude. That would be kind of cool, but whatever. I wouldn't mind uh, going and healing Melodon either, actually. So, crap, get down here. So uh, we might try to use a repel to either A, uh, hold off on the battles until I can heal her. Ooh, tentacool, tentacool. Um, well, did Belladonna's cry just like double right there? It's weird. Um, we're going to switch in Muddy Buddy for this, actually. Because typically tentacool doesn't use water type offense. Typically it goes for like the poison, and uh, the poison tends to be more so... Uh, physically based, you know, so that's not something I want my, uh, yeah, there you go, Acid, that's not something I want Electabuzz to take. i have Muddy Buddy take it, who resisted, and, and is a stalwart physical defender, and he has Earthquake! Come, 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 come! Super effective damage. Dead jellyfish. You know, I find it strange how Tentacruel is supposed to be a jellyfish, right? But, like, he always gets squid nicknames, when, I guess he's not really a squid, he's a jellyfish. But then you've got Jellicent, who is like clearly a jellyfish, a jellyfish, a a <laughs> just jell jellyfish. What in the world? Um, clearly a jellyfish. So, not enough actual squids and too many actual jellyfishes. Jelly, no jellyfish. Fish is singular and plural, right? Pretty sure. So I guess that means jellyfish also is. At least that's what I would assume. Um, razor reef.
Alright, how close are we to the next route? Probably pretty close. Yes, it's the next it's the next tile over. Um, damage check. Uh, everyone's pretty fine. We're gonna throw on a repel. Oh, that's our only super repel. Okay, we'll use it anyway though. Um, okay, we have a couple of... Well, I don't have enough repels. But this not. Okay, more things. We're gonna try to make it to uh, okay, many, many swimmers. And we made it to Pacific Log. Okay, cool. So... Uh, actually, we're at 25 minutes. I wouldn't mind just stopping the video here. As dumb as that sounds. Um, we can check up on who we have in the PC. And maybe we'll pick up Avionis so I can just jet out whenever I want to. We'll have to deposit somebody. Uh, let's deposit. Boss Goddess, I guess. We'll hold off on her for now. Um, let's organize. Oh, we actually have a full box. Full box of pokes. We're gonna name, uh, name this. So we got a new box. We're gonna add in now. Um, that river. River's kind of nice. We'll name this box. Nazru. Um, Nazru minus. It's a folks are probably not going to use those. Let's do some discriminatoriness. Oh, here's, here's the sun. Oh, wait. I actually don't have the river because <laughs> that's what we use for the Sanzu River. Um, let's do. Let's do. Uh, let's do caves. Okay, okay, um, who are we de Okay, we're definitely not gonna use Goldane. Um, we're definitely not gonna use Owen Don. Um, Nothing The chicken in the walls could still have some use to us. Um, I don't think we want to use Wario number two. Um, uh, or this thing. This guy that I'm not even sure we should be allowed to keep, but I'm keeping him just because it's uh, it's funny. Oh, we gotta do that too. I almost forgot. Um, I don't, um, as much as these three are like amazing, I, I doubt we're gonna use them, but I'm gonna keep them in the first box anyway. Um, okay, we'll keep the pig, or we'll put the pig over here. Um, we're probably not gonna use Makar in, but or Makar. But uh, I'll keep him in this box anyway. And uh, I, I suppose Dasher has been superseded by Double Dasher. So thank you for your uh, episodes of service, Dasher. Um, where's my other thing? Oh, we have a Whale Whalemer in the in the, in the thing. That's right. That's right. I'm trying to get the thing evolved. Um. Okay, so let's put, move uh, move some of these. True. <laughs> I love some of these nicknames. All right, let's uh, let's put Avionis in the party so we can fly, and that'll do it for this video. Next video, we're probably still not gonna take on Tate and Lisa. We're probably going to keep doing what we did this video. So this will probably be another one of those part one, part two type deals. So I'll uh, see you guys next time for part 45. We survived part 44, no deaths. Although Bell Dunn did get critted a few times and scared me. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Later days. Wiping by with the mouse. Later days.